Hey everyone, welcome back. Having trouble downloading macOS Sequoia 15.4.1 on your Mac? Don't worry because I have got you covered with some quick fixes. That said, let's get started. Many a time you can sort out a software update problem on Mac by just refreshing the Wi-Fi connection. So I would recommend you to give it a chance. First off, to do so you have to launch the system settings app on your Mac and then you have to go to Wi-Fi and turn it off. After that, you have to head over to the Apple menu and select the four squared option. Then you have to select system settings in the menu and hit the four squared option. And then you have to relaunch the system settings app and try to download the software to check whether or not you have sorted out a problem. If the problem still persists, I would recommend you to restart your Mac because it has the knack of fixing frustrating Mac OS related problems. To do so, you have to hit the Apple menu located at the top left corner of the screen and then you have to choose the restart option in the menu. And once your Mac has successfully rebooted, you have to try to re-download the software to check whether or not the problem is gone. If you are still unable to download and install the latest version of macOS on your Mac, I would recommend you to completely declutter your Mac because there is a high chance that the storage of your Mac has been clogged up due to unnecessary apps and files. So declutter your Mac. To do so, you have to go to the system settings app. Then you have to choose general. After that, select stories and then you have to take a quick look at the storage status. After that, you have to delete all the useless files and apps to recover as much free space on your Mac as possible. And once you have completely cleaned up your Mac, you have to restart it. And once your Mac has rebooted, you have to try to re-download the software to check whether or not the problem is gone. Hopefully, the problem should be sorted out now and you'll be able to download and install the latest version of macOS on your Mac without any problem at all and that's about it if you found this video helpful make sure to like and share it and do subscribe for more such handy macOS tips and tricks and i'll catch you up in the next one take care bye, -bye.